Hi, in this video we'd like to go through a very common result that you get during a miscarriage which is embryonic chromosomal abnormality that leads to a miscarriage. Now, this type of miscarriage is actually quite rare but your doctor will believe that it is random or inherited or just bad luck where certain chromosomal abnormalities that arise in the embryo, in the baby itself that led to this outcome. So we'd like to explain that actually 90% of these types of miscarriages can be prevented. They are not random and they are not inherited uh, as your doctor would suggest. Any chromosomal abnormality that is found within a pregnancy that leads to a miscarriage is usually identifiable, diagnosable and treatable. Very few cases of uh, genetic anomalies that arise during pregnancies are actually completely untreatable, unpreventable. These types are usually what we refer to as lethal chromosomal abnormality, which means uh, when, uh, you, when these genes actually form within the embryo, it will immediately cause a spontaneous abortion because uh, they are lethal, they are unstable, and they will quickly uh, destabilize the pregnancy. These types of lethal chromosomal abnormalities and patients with these types of uh, chromosomes, these types of uh, anomalies are considered to be infertile or uh, they will actually experience repeated miscarriage because of how lethal they are. But these patients only stand less than 5%. The rest of the 95% are actually diagnosable and treatable. But what we hear from your doctors is that they will say uh, these types of uh, abnormalities happen usually it's because of your age or you may have some chromosome abnormality problem within the father or the mother and then you should just try again next time but they don't recommend any solution which is why it's sometimes very misleading and blind uh, advice from the doctor's part so Antai Hospital understands that for chromosomal abnormality that arises during a miscarriage there's two separate categories that can lead to this outcome First of all, it's an internal factor, and then the second one is an external factor. So an internal factor refers to everything within the mother's body. Any abnormality, any underlying diseases, conditions, organic diseases of the uterus, systemically, it all can lead to embryonic chromosomal abnormality. Anything that can affect embryogenesis, especially the cell division process, this can lead to occurrence of this embryonic chromosomal abnormality. Let me give you a few uh, examples. For example, a uterine septate, the most common form of uterine malformation, the presence of naive uterus, intrauterine adhesions, PCOS, adenomyosis, endometriosis, all of these are actually contributing factors to this uh, chromosomal abnormalities. The funny thing is that all of these can be actually diagnosed, can be treated especially here at the hospital we offer you full contractual treatment guarantee of 95 percent success rate and then when these factors are all treated you will realize that there will be no complications in your next pregnancy because the underlying factors are treated so this is just an internal factor so it requires thorough diagnosis and then examination figure out what is wrong and then we offer you treatment then the internal factor is already settled. Now we look at the external factor. External factor is the mother's lifestyle and the environment that she's exposed to before pregnancy and during pregnancy. This can include her stress levels, her diet, is she smoking and consuming excessive alcohol, too much coffee, and the environment that she's staying in, is there too much radiation? Maybe she's not even aware that she's being exposed to these types of harmful environmental hazards. Anything that can infect, affect her external environment can affect the embryogenesis process. So all of these needs careful examination. So all of these, there are a certain lists that we go through with our patients. If we go through all the lists and they've crossed out everything, it is very likely that your next pregnancy can be very successful. So it's all about expertise and knowledge. If you receive a diagnosis from a doctor that this pregnancy loss, this miscarriage is caused by embryo uh, 
chromosomal abnormality and they still recommend you to go try for the next one without any treatment you must quickly search for a specialist hospital a specialist doctor that actually does uh, know what they're talking about and understand all these internal and external factors because uh, it's very likely that uh, your uh, current pregnancy loss was an entirely preventable one and what we want here we want to do here at Atlanta Hospital for you is to secure your next pregnancy to be a full term and healthy one and we offer you full contractual treatment full refund guarantee uh, to give you assurance on our effectiveness if you do miscarry again after coming for treatment with us then we offer you full refund guarantee so keep in mind chromosomal abnormality usually it's caused by underlying disease or environmental factors if you settle both these factors it is unlikely that it will happen again and anti hospital can secure you this pregnancy that you want and uh, so that you can begin your family and uh, have many children uh, as you wish so get in touch with us as soon as you can via the website if you'd like to seek our consultation and our services leave me a comment down below as well